Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're going to look at uh, continuing to use Facebook as our business profile. So uh, here what I've got is my, uh, my home page, my uh, Facebook page. I claimed my address a little while ago. And uh, so now I'm going to add some content. I can add uh, regular text, photos, or events and milestones and such. I'm going to add a photo. So I'm going to select Add Photo, Upload. I've got a cool little photo to show. Right here. So I'm going to post that photo. And just like the other social networks we've talked about, you want to write something interesting, enticing, some, something that people would uh, want to interact with. Uh, so, uh, I can write, um, we're ready for Star Wars Saturday. Are you? Now, as you type, you might get suggestions. I, I saw one a moment ago. Uh, there we go. So, as you're, as you're typing, Facebook might uh, see that you actually you you might mean another Facebook account here so turn aside on I don't know what that is a music a band I guess so you can actually if you do select something like that what happens there is that your post gets linked to that other page in this case I don't want that but let's say I wanted to for whatever reason link to my company name so I might start to type it, it doesn't show up, but another way you can do it is type the at symbol. Type the at symbol and start typing and then you'll get uh, suggestions perhaps about who you should connect with. Uh, so anyway, that's optional. This is how you can connect your post with other people's accounts. Use the at symbol. So I'm going to post that. So I've got a picture. Let's say I want to post a link. So I'm going to go over to YouTube, find a picture, a video that is. I'm going to do uh, how to bake a cake. So let's say this is a video that I want. I have share. I can share dirt directly from YouTube. I can also copy the link and paste. I'm going to do it that way because if you're not if you don't have the built-in Facebook button, you can always uh, copy a link. So I'm going to copy that link. What have you been up to? I can go to status. I can then paste the link and then Facebook is smart enough that it actually grabs a thumbnail of the video and puts a description. So you can then remove that and write your own content. You could say, um, perfect for a birthday party, wouldn't you say? You might have the option down here, instead of posting, which will go directly at this moment, you also have the option to schedule a post, or backdate, or save draft. Let's say you're, you need to spend time to, to really set the, this post up so you can save it. But uh, you can say schedule post. Let me show you that. Uh, when would you like this to show up? Right now it's 10, 18. Uh, I won't make this show up until, no, I'll try 10, 40. So this will show up at 10.40, and even on a different day. You can change that to next week. Set date. And then the option says schedule. So I've scheduled it. And now that'll come out at 10.40 today. So pictures, text, video, you can do events and milestones. Uh, I can set up a milestone. 
founded the business. Add a location if you want. I said San Diego. When did it happen? <coughs> Text founded our business ready to rock. I can add a photo. Save. <laughs> so, have that item. And so we posted a little bit of content pretty easy. So now all of our followers have seen that content. We don't have any followers yet, meaning likes. The only like is my own. So in our next video, we'll see about getting likes.